man. Let's go, gang. It's time for iCast, your freaking awesome replays. Down here, or I should say up here in the top left-hand side, representing SC2 replays in the red, it's Breath. And down here in the bottom right-hand side, in the blue, representing Taste the Bacon, it's Wob Wob. Shout out to Wob Wob, my man. Hanging out, playing some Terran. Having my face floating on some bacon next to it, representing my Taste the Bacon clan. Still the best clan name of all time, right? There's definitely not a whole lot of people in the clan who are like, I like the clan, but I'm really embarrassed by the name, man. It's a bit weird. And I'm like, but the whole point is you make your opponents taste your bacon. And they're like, yeah, that's what's weird about it. And I'm like, no, it's fucking awesome. And they're like, it really isn't. Can we change the name? And I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm a weirdo. I like my weird names. Stop it. Stop, stop trying to fight it, guys. Stop it. It's fine. Anyways... We are playing the teleportation challenge. That's what we're casting here. Players have to use mobility mechanics like lifting buildings, teleporting BCs, boosting medevacs, and doing drops and nidus worms and recalls and all that cool jazz. Now, if you want to get your replays in for next week, there is a new challenge. And that challenge is Snake Oil Salesman. Sell your opponent a steaming pile of crap. Tech switch drastically after something is scouted, show a tech or rush and transition instantly out of it or find some other way to trick your opponent out of their hard-earned ladder points. Send submissions to eonblue95 at gmail.com as an attachment. Just icy fire as the title of the email. Please name your replay with a matchup and a short description. Of course, uh, all the info can be found by typing exclamation mark icy fire in my Twitch chat at any time. Hop in on your desktop computer if you're having trouble getting there in Twitch chat and it should be no probs. Uh, speaking of no probs, no probs for wob wobs just yet. You see that? That was like what we call a rhyming couplet, guys. Except it wasn't. It wasn't even a rhyme. But no probs wob. We kind of made it sound like it was a rhyme, almost. And that's what we call being a special caster with a big brain. And when we say big, we mean definitely the size of a P, at least potentially two P's next to each other. That's why I'm so proud of myself. Oh no! One more pervy robot overlord caught between two marines. They started to high five each other. They're like, this feels good. Yeah, let's high five. Devil's threesome. Yeah, the overlord's like, stop it! Ow! Explodes in a white gush of simulant excretions. For those of you who don't know, of course, these are the robot zerg skins from that last war chest absolutely fucking beautiful um and with the added bonus that they explode in a white explosion that looks very reminiscent of certain anime adult videos uh yeah i mean i, I, I honestly like it's impossible not to make that joke because just just look closely whenever they explode it's disgusting it, it really is gross now these two are getting a bit randy this drilly boy normally down for just about anything but these two zerglings a bit more than he's willing to handle he's gonna back off wait for some backup before he goes back in to join that orgy wholeheartedly oh no the factory and barracks lifted off the zerglings blocking it this barracks is like oh, let me land let me land these zerglings like get fucked man yeah get fucked haha ha, ha. or what you don't you want to land there do you want to land there do you want to land there finally they do at least leave a bit of a cum stain the factory is like oh i really don't want to land on that but i need to use that reactor the factory is kind of like you know when you're, you're kind of rubbing your you're the bottom of your feet against each other you're trying to scrape some gum off them that's what the factory wish it could do because right now its foundations are getting eaten away by some caustic jizz uh we've got a bit of hellions on the way of course Tech Lab going down as well as that starport. A little bit disgusting uh, of a start for Wob Wob, but not really too much of a distraction. Meanwhile, on the other side, I think Breath here is really just trying to play a very standard game. It's kind of like, let's drone up. He's got a pretty early Roach Warren on the way. Uh, no no early third base, but good economy build up from Breath so far. And he's kind of just going, I'm Zerg, you know. I spread tumors. Uh, I build lots of these drones. Uh, we like to get the queen. She likes to get her loving on. See this... She likes to shove her lava injection up there. It comes out, and they pop out the top as these little eggs. They pop out, turn into lava. The lava turn into eggs, which turn into more units. It's basically the Lion King. It's the circle of Zerg life. Um, this queen, she's talking to this lava. She's like, all the land you see will be yours one day. The lava's like, oh, really? What if I get fucking turned into a shit drone? She's like, oh, well, no, not if you're a drone. You'll be a slave to fucking just mine minerals and die. These Hellions come in, they're like, speaking of dying, we are armed with flamethrowers and we'd like to get in your base to kill your workers. The Queen's like, you're not getting in here, mate. You're wearing the wrong shoes. The Hellions are like, oh, can we please get in, man? I swear, we haven't been drinking. Nah, like, we're gonna buy heaps of drinks in your bar. The Queen's like, mate, you, you clearly don't have money. None of you has a credit card. 
You're all wearing sneakers and fucking Adidas and shit. I know you're here to start fights. You've already been drinking your fucking vodka in the alleyway. You're not going to spend any money in this club. You can't come in here. The Hellions are like, all right, all right. They're going to play the long game. They're like, we're going to wait. Telly's not looking. Telly's distracted with someone else. And then we're going to run past the bouncer, dive into the club and be like, ha ha, get fucked. Sneak onto that dance floor. I like the, the cool person we are. Speaking of cool people... Oh, fuck me. Wobble, well, building the battle cruiser. You make me so happy. My favorite unit at the moment. I build one pretty much every Terran vs. Zerg. And it, it makes me mighty, mighty happy. Uh, don't hate on Adidas. I'm sorry, Twitch chat. Are you Russian gangsters? Do you wear matching jacket, tracksuit, you know, top and bottom things? Is if you're not a Russian gangster from a Call of Duty fucking movie. Isn't that funny how, like... They're like terrorists, but they dress like gangsters. I don't even understand what's going on. You guys remember Modern Warfare. Great game, but kind of hilarious bad guys. Uh, anyways, long story short, you guys and your shitty Adidas tracksuits can get fucking hated on because they're dumb. Uh, meanwhile, first BC's out. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's it's chilling. It's chilling. He's like, I'm getting ready, man. I'm getting ready. I'm in, I'm, I'm got me teleport already. Where should I jump to? Where should it be? On top of your drones? Should it be on top of your drones? I mean, the Hellions are there. The Hellions are there. They're going to be... Oh, yeah, look, look. We're cheeky. We're cheeky. We're cheeky. And... Oh, he's just going to jump on the Queens. What a dickhead. He's like, let's go, you Mato gun. Bam. One kick Queen gets blasted. The other one's like, I think I can win this fight. Ah, no. Actually, I can't. Uh, right now, we've got two Queens as the only things that shoot up. And Breath is like, oh, damn, I think I might be in dick town. The Roaches would love to counterattack, but the Hellions are just waiting. They're like, what's that? What's that? I know the Bouncer's going to get distracted soon. That battle cruiser, that was the distraction we're waiting for. Quick, dive into the club. Get in the club. We can fucking do it. Go, 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 go. The drone's being pulled off. The bartenders are even trying to stop them. But these fucking, these fucking degenerates find their way in and are immediately knocked unconscious by the bartenders. Okay, not the most dramatic entrance to the club. But you know what? It was it was exciting. It was hype. It, they, they made it in. They've got a story to tell. They're probably going to have to go to hospital for the concussion they got from the bartender tackling them into the fucking floor. There's some broken glass in their hands as well, but ah well. The battle cruiser did its job, did a nice distraction, got nine kills, and Wob Wob, keeping up the macro behind it, takes a third base. I like it. This is a BC Hellion shenanigans. They're pretty fucking sexy. They're hard to deal with. And with a second BC about to come out and ship weapons on the way... It's getting me mighty excited. I'm liking Wob Wob's style here. Did the BC blink home? There it is. Says, all right, time for a repair job. Come on, who's going to drill me? Oh, wow. Six SCVs, seven, eight SCVs all at once. Oh, tickling all of the spots. That Battle Cruiser's salad is most certainly well tossed at this point. Immediately back to full life, rejuvenated and ready for round two. Now with a playmate, they're going to go across together and try to blast the fuck out of some Zerg. Fourth base is on the way, though. We've got beautiful upgrades for Breath, who's got 65 workers in a nice economy. The only problem here is, of course, that Hydras are not the best at killing battle cruisers anymore. I mean, with the upgrades, they might be able to do it if you get enough of them out, but they're definitely not as good as they used to be. These BCs can blast down small numbers of Hydras like they're nothing. They're going to go move their way across the map. What else have we got here? Blue Flame. So it's going to be mech here. Three factory, non-stop BC production. Tanks, Hellions on the way. BC is going to march forward. Ah, oh, one more pervy boy about to explode. Oh, wow. The Hydras get a little bit of that, uh, that white, creamy sauce all over them. They're like, man, that's disgusting. Why do Overlords carry such a large load of blood? Uh, I'm not really sure. Battlecruiser is going to move their way forward. Oh, no. That queen gets absolutely blasted. A couple drones go down. BCs take next to no damage. And they're like, no, let's just go back in. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to back off. We're going to back off. But we might not. But we might. We might, but we might not. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go up here. These battle cruisers are like, ha ha, we are cheeky bastards. That's that's what we're... Oh, look at that. Dodges the spore crawler. The spore crawler's like, please come and fight me, you asshole. The BC's just going to chill there. The hydrogen's getting pretty low. This BC's dancing around. Man, these BC's are being so annoying. Wob Wob here, using those mobility mechanics to the max, is like, ha ha, teleportation, bitch. The hydrogen's still alive, though. And a second one's already underway. So Wob Wob hasn't really found that critical damage just yet. 
Did we just see a BC fly home or did it die? Oh no, no, it grouped up, it grouped up, it grouped up here. Okay, nice, nice, nice. They're gonna, they're gonna camp in the corner for a bit. The Roach Hydra is gonna move across the map. They're gonna try and make a timing work. Wobwob's like a couple tanks, couple Hellions and a Thought. Not the best mech build up. Okay, there's a tank there as well, but okay, that's what we're talking about. The rally is there, the BCs dive in again. Oh, a couple of drones get their faces burnt off. They're like, why? Why the fuck would you do that to us? This one blinks down here, picking off even more drones. Coolest thing about the BC is it'll automatically target drones rather than spore crawlers unless you tell it to attack the spore. Ah, oh, the roaches and hydras coming in here. Hellions, Thors, tanks trying to come forward, but that's a lot of corrosive bile landing on the face of that Terran army. This third base taking huge damage. The BC's coming in. The repair was good for a second, but it was not enough. The tank Hellion gonna come forward here. A wob wob with the big A move is like siege mode, more like more like weeb mode. I'm not a weeb. I'm not going to do that. Apparently, though, I feel like maybe in this scenario, I am for the weeb strategy of sieging up a little bit early because that did not go very well. That Terran army should have been able to deal with that. Nonetheless, this battle cruiser says, you know what? You might be killing me at home, but I am going to cuck your economy in the main. There's... Oh, the tanks aren't sieged again. you got to pull the drilly boys. Drilly boys, go. Oh, my God. Corrosive bile lands on the BC and the two tanks. <gasps> wob wob. No, stop it. Ah, oh, Wobwob's in dick town. It's focusing on the BC so much. I don't know if I don't know if Wobwob can hang on. There's only a few Ravages and Hydras here, but that BC is up to 25 kills on the other side of the map. It's killing Hydras as they pop out one at a time. Only 32 drones behind this. The BC counterattacks might have actually made this work. Tanks popping out into an absolute shit show once again. Drilly boys fighting for their lives. They say it's just now drills and a whole lot of hopes. We can do this. The BC blinks back. Oh, a reactive corrosive bile! But actually only two of them land. The third one didn't because they hit just before the blink completed. A few more Ravages and Hydras rallying and Wobwob has got to change that rally point to back here. If these units pop into the battle again, they're going to keep dying and it keeps happening. Wobwob, you're going to change your rally point. No, you could have held on. Oh, a BC, a BC, that's it, that BC might be able to do this. BC does not give a shit about spawning in the battle. Wobwob's BC up against four Hydras. Who will win? The Hydras are getting roasted and toasted. And Wobwob hangs on for now. But oh no, the Hydras are coming. Hellion's doing a good job. The BC blinks away to that top base. It's going to be able to get repaired up there. Tank's trying to come out. Hellion's trying to come out. Oh my god, Wobwob, are you going to be able to hang on? There's four Hydras. The Hellion's popping out one at a time. Oh, another Siege Tank's going to pop out in the middle of the Hydras. It's going to take out only one Hydra before it goes down. That BC has got some SCVs coming. It's trying to get back down here the hydra's trickling into this base and there's next to nothing about to pop out it's all on that one bc i don't know if he's going to be able to do it wob wob here has been wreaking havoc upon the zerg economy with the battle cruiser counters there's 42 drones up against 28 scvs but there's still a couple of orbital command centers able to drop mules the bc is going to come in he's got a couple of drilly boys touching up his butt while he fights them hellions pop out at the same time the perfect sync up and wob wob holds defends both players tied in supply the plus two battle crews are doing work now these are two two hydras and if they find the mineral line that'll be great but there's a planetary oh no and there's hellions on their tail these hydras trapped between a planetary and a bernie place they choose the bernie place and they say ow it hurts the hellions are like yeah motherfucker you better need some spf 4000 sunscreen to deal with these blue flames the hydras like that's Sarah Connor's line, not yours, and it's meant to do with nukes, not shitty flamethrowers. Just because it's a blue flame doesn't mean it's that good. The aliens are like, get fucked, we'll fucking use whatever line from whatever movie we want. James Cameron's awesome, Arnie, Arnie's awesome, we like Terminator, it's a good movie. Uh, meanwhile, Breath is like, let's build some drones and rebuild me economy. This game could actually go on, but these Hellions are like, nah, man, you might have stopped us getting in the club before, but it's our turn now. Adidas for life. Fucking flamethrowers for life. Let's not target the drones. Let's just bruise the queen and then get rejected by the hydras. Shit, man. These Hellions really need to learn how to party. Oh, the BC comes in. And the blue flame. The blue flame lineup. They get the lineup. They get the lineup. Oh, the splash damage is brutal. These hydras take a trip to Dicktown. The Hellbats morph in. Now, that BC can't go into double spore ranger. It will get blasted, but the Hellbats seem to have done their job. This bouncer oh, gets roasted by these angry drunks. Oh, more Hellions coming in. The drones turning around to fight. This time, though, bartenders are not going to be able to deal with this bunch of punks. The Hellions get in behind the minerals. The bartenders trying to fight. The Hellbat Morph is good. The Hellbat Morph is good. And this is the sort of barbecue you don't want to invite your kids to because 
you're burning humans and you're trying to eat them afterwards because if you guys didn't know, Hellbats eat drone barbecues. I don't know where I'm going with this. I know this game's fucking crazy. Where the fuck is that Battlecruiser? 17 kills. It's killing shit. I don't even know what's going on. I think I think Wobwob's made it happen. It's equal supply. There's still Hydras coming out. Ah, oh, these Hellions. I just think they're so good against these Hydras. Even even just in Hellion form. They don't even need to be in Hellbat form. They wreck these Hydras. Um, the PC comes in. It's an absolute meat sack. And Hydras on their own, not going to be enough. A Yamato gun, yet again, creating another cum stain on this Zerg territory. Zerg's in big trouble right now. Hellion's BC's coming forward. <laughs> coming forward. <laughs> uh, more Hydras coming in, but the Hellions are rallying as well. This is so close. That BC's going to have to blink out, I think. There's only a few Hydras left. There's only a few Hydras. It blinks to safety at the last second. Now, we've still got mules dropping. We've still got three bases mining for Wobwob, Wob, a big gas back up against a Zerg who's on four bases, but only 48 drones, no mules for the Zerg player. Breath here, hanging on for dear life, adding a few roaches, which is gonna do a lot to help against those Hellions. If you can get some roaches in front of the Hydras, then have enough Hellions, uh, Hydras behind it. The Hellions aren't gonna be as useful. The Hellions are gonna need to be microed really well. These Hellions still have not found their way into the club. They seem to be pretty adamant at not actually targeting down drones or getting into the mineral line. At this point, they're so used to getting rejected, they've lost all hope and confidence. They go out partying, they talk about how they're going to get in all the clubs, they're going to dance up on all of the all of the, the sexy, attractive people there, they're going to find potential mates, and the thing is, they've lost confidence. Finally, they actually G themselves up to dive in, they get into a club, they don't realize it's an absolute shithole, uh, there's two drunk dudes left at the bar who are talking about the old days and making gambles on, of course, the dog races. Uh, but nonetheless, I mean, the Hellions did get into a club. It's not the sort of club you're really that proud to be hanging out in on a Saturday night as an 18-year-old looking to party. But you know what? They did some damage. They roasted some drones. It's, uh, we'll count it as a victory. It's, it's a victory after the shit show they went through to get it. At this point, the economy is fucked for breath. Breath is like pumping out these shitty units. And I mean, we got plus three BCs on the way, which is all you really need. What could possibly beat that? I don't know. Enough Hydras probably would. We got a new fourth on the way. Wobwob stabilizing. The Drilly Boys still well practiced at tossing the salad of these BCs at this point. And uh, we're doing good. Doing good. It looks like, yeah, I think Wobwob's gonna gonna stabilize. Oh, the harassment BCs continue. <laughs> oh, you can run, but you can't hide. The BC takes out that queen, blasts a couple of drones here, forces a few spores, and even that's a victory in of itself. Forcing spore crawlers and a base that's already mined out. This is beautiful. BC is just going to take out that drone and then fly off to safety. That spore crawler is even going to go down. Oh my god. Wobwob's like, hey, wait a second. I can just kill all your shit. The Hydra's like, oh, really? You're going to make us go back in there to defend that? Really? And uh, Wobwob massacring the main is going to get out of there. The Hydra is hot on the tail. Going to throw a couple of needles. Ooh, ow, 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 and does get back to safety at the same time. Two more BCs on the south side. Oh, nice. Uh, double uh, Yamato takes out the two Ravages. These BCs just using that mobility, that corrosive bile. Uh, we're going to call that an anticipatory shot. It's where you're trying to anticipate where the battlecruiser will be 17 seconds from now, even though it only takes two seconds for a bile to land. Wobob well, is going to fall back to the left. One BC is going to meet a tragic end as those Hydras chase it down. But this opens up opportunity on the north side. This BC here, up to 41, 42 kills, is going to go in. Takes out even more drones. Does accidentally click on that spore crawler. That was a micro mistake there from Wobob. Well, well. Oh, actually, maybe it's an okay call because Yamato finishes it off. There are Hydras here. That BC's got to get out of there. It blinks to safety. The 43 kill battlecruiser looking good. Bottom left corner, that's a 7 kill battlecruiser. Do we have any more out? Another one is about to pop holy shit this has got to be so frustrating for breath to deal with you've got to get some corruptors or something at this point these bcs are just ruining you you've also got to be a lot quicker at running drones from those bcs or they will ruin your day uh, something players i think panic a bit they don't pull their drones away and they let the bc get the damage it wants so you pull your drones away bc harassment like that not really worth the huge expenditure, but I am enjoying this moment in the meta where even in GM, players are basically seeing battle cruisers and immediately making a poopy in their pants, panicking, freaking out, and going, fuck, this unit's broken, which is always a lot of fun to see. Daddyo, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub, my friend. Hurt one with the 300 bit cheer. Paradox Anomaly with the Twitch Prime sub as well. Welcome, guys. Oh, look at that dodge there. Hot moves from Wob Wob, but there's actually no drones here. Oh, not again. She quickly throws an inject off before dying. A fountain 
of simulant blood goes everywhere, and that battle cruiser just being an absolute pain in the ass. Uh oh, uh oh, it's, it's used up its blink, it stayed too long. The Hydra is gonna get a tiny little mite of revenge. And that battle cruiser does fall. Breath is like, yeah, yeah, maybe I'm still in this game. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm still in this game. No, no, no. Another plus three BC here. Gonna come in and look at these drones disappear. Ah oh, man, it's like going to a fucking a Copperfield show or something. It's just everything is disappearing except it doesn't reappear at the end. It's like no, no, no. You're like your you're like partner goes up on stage and volunteers for the disappearing act. He's like and he's gone. Except. Afterwards, you, you find a, a, a full fucking cupboard filled with dead drone bodies. And you're like, oh, he didn't disappear them. He literally just murdered them because he's a sick fuck. Yep, that's these battle cruisers. That's the sort of magician they are. Breath's sick of it. Breath's like, fuck you. You keep ruining me, man. Can I get across the map and, and just, just kill you, please? Doesn't realize that this is a 111 supply Terran army. Look at the blue flame. Dive on it. Go for the blue flame. Go for the blue flame. You know you want to get that splash damage. Oh, he's got to click on the hydras in the back. Click on the hydras in the back. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Look at that splash damage. Good spread from breath, though. It does minimize it a little bit. Ravages on the backside got messed up by the siege tanks, though. And that's just too much Terran. A wob wob harassing all game long. At the same time, Battlecruiser on the left came back in. Did some annoying. The entire army just got massacred. <laughs> Ah, the Ravagers, because they were morphing, they weren't there to tank for the Hydras. And uh, and that definitely did not work out. Another Spore Crawl here, trying to fight off a BC. And uh, this BC blinks to safety. They just keep blinking out of there. Well done. By Wobble, pushing in here with the finishing blow. A bunch of Drilly Boys, five Thors, and a 47 kill Cattle Bruiser. We call it a cattle bruiser because it's beefy and it beats the shin out of the zerg, minces it up, bruises the cattle. You guys ever tenderize beef? Well, this is a tenderizer of the zerg. The battle cruisers in this game have softened this zerg up. They take out the base. Now, Breath has been doing a great job of expanding all over, but these hydras just can't stand up to the hellions and the thors and the tanks. There's not enough economy. There's nothing to equalize here. As the Zerg, you need a much bigger economy. You need Banelings to deal with the Hellions. You need Vipers to deal with the, the big mech units. And uh, that's just way too expensive. Breath is broke. Breath is building this sad excuse of an army. Ravages 22 minutes into a game. Reek of desperation. Massive, massive gas expense for a unit which is not going to be able to pull off the spells it needs. Wob Wob up on five bases and really just, just showing us a masterclass of non-stop one star port BC production. I love that the mech units literally have no attack upgrades, just an armor upgrade, but the BCs have plus three attack and that's all you need. This BC is up to 52 kills, by the way. Going to try and clean up some more drones. Realizing there's no drones here is like, I'll settle for an extractor. For you guys that don't know, building kills do actually count on the kill counter. So that battle cruise is up to 53. This sad excuse for a hold here from Breath or a hold attempt does get absolutely shunted. A Wob's moving down here. He's like, I have more Thors than you have Hydras, mate. What are you going to do? Breath's like, oh, maybe I can take it, dude. BC up there. BC in there. Wob Wob does the triple blink into three mineral lines while pushing the front. I mean, that just massacres the last vestiges of economy. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, the drones think they're running to safety. They're just running to a different sort of death, a slow, fiery death from this battle cruiser. That one gets away on five hit points. It's got 13 kills. One in the main is up to 56 kills. This one here is up to 16 kills. The last desperate attack there and Breath gets crushed under the foot of that Gundam fucking army. Wob Wob, thank you for that sick replay. That was an awesome, awesome BC game. GG well played, dude. GG well played. That was